Hi. Hi. We are Sam and Max and we are building a yurt. Yes. We started with the planning uh, eight months ago and uh, we also went on a yurt course to to like get inspiration and, and learn how to how to build it that in our uh, European climate uh, that it works. Yeah, so that you don't get like super much um, uh, fungus or or like uh, like mice or birds mm, or ants or, or stuff like this. So yeah. how how to to make sure that you don't get this in your yurt um, and that you're building it with the right materials. First, we had like the idea to to really do it all by ourselves before we went on the yurt course, uh, yeah. and then uh, eventually we thought, well, maybe we should really do it because we haven't got any experience or so many many mixed messages on the internet mm -hmm, true, on yeah. on yeah. on how to properly build one and, and what is good and what is not good. And, yeah. Um, and so so we weren't really sure we weren't really sure how to how to really do it. So we went on the yurt course and we learned a lot. We built we built a yurt from the ground up um, with this course. And yeah, and and then at this course we after this course we started really to yeah, we started to make the calculations. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were kind of designing our own yurt with the knowledge that we got at the course. We are really pioneers in that sense with what we want to do because we want to like create a synergy out of the out of the materials that uh, that work in the western uh, in the western climate here, but also with like the the round shape and uh, to building cosmic measures. Um, yeah. And and uh, yeah, and with the with the uh, light couple. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the light, uh, the light ring with the light, uh, the glass. That's the. Yeah. What couple? is this in English? I don't know. No, <laughs> we just both say couple because we are from that part of Europe where you say couple. Couple. You know. Um. Yeah, and, and what's also been interesting for me has been the, um, just the, in general the process has been very interesting, but yeah. uh, but uh, also, um, yeah, like, like Max was saying that it's, it's not so common if you build something like this and we are also living in a, in a small community where it's not so common and people are... Uh, yeah, resistant. Yeah, resistant. To, to to change to, I guess yeah, yeah 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 to change and to to different ideas and true to new ways and yeah and this uh, is also something that us uh, that, that that held us back a lot yeah and I, I feel it still does sometimes yeah yeah um, that that's yeah it's not like we are changing our plans or anything but it's not so easy like I'm, I'm happy that we are doing this together. Because yeah. if we wouldn't do this together, then um, most probably we wouldn't do it. We, almost. I would have given up probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I would just, I, I would just not have done it. No, I wouldn't have done it. Okay. Well, most probably. Yeah. Yeah, and so we started with the with the calculations. Yes. Um, we we did, uh, um, and now we are kind of at the stage where we are um, uh, in in one part. We are preparing the space, so we are like in the in the stage of of um, like the physical thing, like making the making the space ready for for the actual yurt first and we are also busy with gathering all the materials that we would need for for building it so which is not an easy thing no it's not no, no definitely. I totally underestimated that yes, part that I, th I, I, I just thought well you know you just go to a do-it-yourself store and you you buy all your your stuff there and it's but it's actually of course you want to look for the most sustainable or yeah. or 
energetically wise you want to do it in the right way you want to yeah, do it right in the financial way that it's not too expensive and yeah you still want to have a high quality and that that it's really like uh just working for a long time and you want it local and yeah yeah so it's it's really yeah. like um yeah it's also we don't really know what's out there like all the companies that are out there that are that are that have the the material that we need that we, we have need, yeah. we mm. have not really an idea so we're we're spending our time on the internet and and finding it out and asking like local locals if they know anything mm. um, so yeah we were doing all all this now and we're also preparing preparing at at the place where we are we are going to put it up we are preparing yes. the space so here you will also see a lot of uh, video clips to that yeah because ooh, <laughs> because we really want to to share our experience um, so that you are also able to build your own yurt or at least learn from us and learn from our mistakes, mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just learn yeah yeah just learn learn also how to do it and um, please ask uh, questions yeah um, in the comments below below there like <laughs> there okay. you can leave leave your your uh, your questions or remarks they are all very welcome and we're also thinking of like when all the process is done and and we know that it works we are we also want to make a book out of it and to to share to share the knowledge and we also want to um, make like a video documentation also in in parts and this will be number one so yeah this yeah. is like the introduction hello <laughs> today we made our first mark on the land and it's the it's the pole of uh, the middle of of our yurt I will show you and Max will make it a bit deeper. So now we're putting <laughs> the nail in the wooden stick so that from this we can measure uh, the radius all around and so that everything is nice and straight and round. Then you need to be two people and then <laughs> one We'll stand here and go with it around like this. Mm -hmm. Actually, it would be perfect if we would be exactly over the middle. So if you would hold it, if you would hold it like that, in between, mm -hmm. with your thumbs, mm -hmm. exactly, and then we go all the way to three meters. In our case, we take sacred measurements. 3.31 uh, centimeters and then we go here and then we like take a stick and then we walk around like this for marking the area that you want to dig out you can take a hammer like this with a pointy end uh, or anything that fits this purpose and then you make a circle and you start digging it out we dig about 15 to 20 centimeters deep so that we can make the surface even um, and that the earth is nice and straight. This area is around 30 square meters and we did everything by hand and we can tell you that it's really tough work and it took us like about one and a half weeks to dig everything out. To make a big hole for the two rain barrels that we will use for uh, our water catchment system, we uh, asked a friend to 
dig the barrel with uh, his caterpillar and this was just so much nicer because the work that uh, would have taken us about a month of work I guess uh, he did in 15 minutes and this was really cool so today we are collecting or actually we're piling our wood for the first time ever this is all the wood that we collected so far there's one part and the other part we already piled up yeah we got this from my work um, got it for free so that's that's super cool and uh, we have to chop some parts and we have to shorten some parts we also got a bit like wood that we will need for some constructions and yeah this is what we're doing today <laughs> yay currently we're busy digging the drainage ditch um, this will collect all the water from the roof, from all around the yurt, and this water will go into the rain barrels. Here you can see the drainage ditch. Uh, again here it's really tough work to do it by hand because there's so many fat roots in the ground that we have to chop out. And um, yeah, it really takes some time. We really underestimated the effort that we have to put in this. But in the end, we hope that we will have good water. We don't care about the thumbs. We don't care so much about the thumbs. But if you liked our video, you should subscribe to our channel. Yes. Natural living, yurt building, herbal stuff, herbology, what else? Herbalism. Herbalism. <laughs> Permaculture. Permaculture, yes. And natural building. Boom. <laughs>